What's up everybody, this is Matthias Mouse and we're here because I messed up. Three footage is, uh, three episodes worth of footage and I fucked up pretty badly. So, I'm gonna go through all what I did again and more. Uh, for example, I found the wolf ring and stuff and I also completely went through Blight Town. But as a repayment, I'm gonna go through all that again, starting with the wolf ring. Um, and a few extra stuff along the way because I feel like I owe it to you. And it won't be that annoying now that I killed the, uh, I killed all the stupid pesky poison people. And if you're wondering why I have a humanity, things went bad, so I had to resort to using humanity, which kinda sucks. Got plus two Estus because I found a Firekeeper soul in Blight Town, which I will also show you when we get there. Also, because I got too many souls, I kinda spent, it went crazy, so now I have a Falchion plus ten. That is for something useful later. There is an illusion here. It's a giant tree. Chop it down. Get through here. That stuff. You'll fight toads. Toads are ugly. What's up, toad? It licks ya. Nothing special. It doesn't paralyze you or anything. Keep going, keep going. Okay. So it's pretty peaceful right here. Uh, it, as you get near the water's edge, however, you will go into an ambush. So hug the left and wait for them to rise out of the water. Fight. Fight, fight. And over here, there's an item. I forgot what item, though. Uh, maybe some souls. I can't really remember very well, but that's okay. Um, oh, what do you have? Green Blossom. Increases stamina regen, so pretty cool. That was easy. Ring ahead, that is true. So just run all the way up here. You may have to fight another magic knight or grass knight or whatever it is. Let's see. Yep, there's one right here. That was easy. I wish it would drop its greatsword, just for the heck of it. So you can get the Wolf's Ring here, and what it does is it gives you more poise. Um, also got the Rusted iron, iron Ring a couple times back, so yeah. You really are impatient. You could try jumping. I wouldn't recommend it, though. Unless you're good at jumping. I'm not. Most of the time when I want to jump, I just roll and miraculously reach to the other side, but, you know. <sighs> Good thing I'm not human, because I'm a pretty juicy target for invasions, I bet. Alright, um, through Blight Town and other things, I ended up getting a important item. What is that item exactly? It is the... Uh, Crest of Artorias, so I can open up that seal. 20k souls. It gives you access to a rather decent place when it comes to soul farming as well as items and if you're around level 30 I think you should have no problem with it. So let's go back. Why am I using the talisman? That's... I need to put some more points in intelligence so I can use the tin banishment catalyst because that's cool. Um, you can find that, and the Crimson Rope, the Mask of the Sealer Crimson set, um, in Blight Town. I'll probably show you the, show you its location, hopefully, so. Time to open this. It accesses a very, very convenient shortcut. Be careful, though. There is a lot of scary shit here, including giant cats and invisible people. I 
I'm actually kind of scared of walking through this forest. Um, cool thing you can do is you can try to pull some enemies and then you can end up being right here. They'll actually go right over your head into the pit. So. Yeah, you'll get invaded here too if you're human because it's part of the forest covenant thing. So someone died right there, so I don't think going over there is the best idea. Okay, I heard somebody too, so Dang, you're tough. That was good. 3,000 souls, pretty nice, pretty nice. Alright. Spellcaster, spellcaster. Got a spellcaster here. Whoa. Come on, come on. I don't think they run out of spell charges, however, like enemy spell casters. Easily dealt with. Get 2,000 juicy souls for that. I really wish you could zoom the camera out, because jump scares, ahoy, in this terrible force. There isn't even like a bonfire, well there is a bonfire like back there, but you know. This is very conspicuous and open. It's kind of scary. Oh, there's a barbarian. Is that it? Alright. He has... Oh, it's the bandit. It's just the bandit. It's okay, everybody. It's just the bandit. Die, bandit. Sweet. Victory is mine. A thousand souls. Really? It's just worth a thousand souls? I'm warning you guys, like, don't scare the shit out of me. Be wary of up. What's that mean? Oh, hey, s oh, hey. Can I talk to you? Is it not so that thou art new? Thou fared well to find me. But comest thee not for the grave of Sir Artorius? My advice true. Forget this. The legend of Artorius art none but a fabrication. Traversing the dark. <laughs> Tis but a fairy tale. Have thine own respect. Go not yonder knocking for nothing, I say. Well, indeed, thou art a strange one. To be honest, I didn't know how to answer that question. I feel some liking for thee. I'm Alvina of the Dark Root Wood. You're a cool person. I command a clan of hunters who track down defiers of the forest graves. That's legit. Thou say? Wilt thou not join us? Oh, yes, I believe we would suit thee well. Sure. I am very glad. And now thou art one of us. Let us establish a covenant. Hooray! Forest hunters. And here, taketh this room. 
If thou wearest that ring, it allows for thine summoning. If mine senses reveal intruders, then I will summon thee. So basically, it sticks you in queue. I beseech only this. Puts you in PvP queue. Who will, by their honor, work tirelessly with thee? Thou shalt receive great reward, and whatsoever ye shall pillage will be thine own. Kinda wanted this just A so they would stop attacking me, the forest hunters. But thou must heed the golden rule. The clan is thine own foe. To thine kinsmen forever stay true. Darest not in any attempt to double cross. Have no doubt, such wretchedness never will we tolerate. Okay. Can I talk to you? Ah, thou dost cometh. Do you sell stuff? Talking to a cat. Apparently not. Okay. Oh! Cat scared me. Hmm. There's a cool armor set I kind of want to get here in this area, but I never explored this area, so. I don't know what's gonna happen to me. Imminent amazing armor. Amazing armor ahead. Aha! What is this? Just making sure. Ah, oh, it's the stone stuff. Let's, let's try wearing this and be over encumbered. Yeah. Dropping like a rock. Not the armor set I was looking for, however, so we must keep going. <sighs> there's the wall over there, but there's a huge forest full of terrible dangers. And it's so quiet. And it sounds almost peaceful, but if you remember it's Dark Souls. Hey, mushroom people. The little mushroom people are pretty neutral. They won't attack you unless you attack them, and even then, they're pretty harmless. They'll just hit you once and run away. Now, the big mushroom people I must fight, and they guard a pretty cool treasure. Alright, I'm just making sure, like, a giant cat doesn't, like, come up and try to kill me. Okay. I hope the little ones don't join in on the fight whenever I fight these. Okay, these guys are slow, but they have two heavy attacks. It's a two-hit combo, if I remember correctly. They have a lot of HP. Can I backstab them? I'd imagine that'd be a little too easy. A little bad killing them, but they're not part of the Forest Covenant, so I should be fine. <laughs> oh god. Ow. Told you. Oh my god. Okay. They dropped gold pine resin as well. That's cool. What are you? Enchanted ember. Oh, you give that to the magic blacksmith and uh, stuff happens. Awesome stuff happens. Right then. Let's keep going. Let's 
forest is so scary. Hey, it's a shortcut. Just slide down there and bam, you're in a new area, I think. You're wondering what, like, is scary- oh, like, to me, the scariest thing are, like, these fucking giant, like, shadow cats. There's, like, two of them in here. They're, like, mini-bosses, I think. They're so fucking scary. Just because- the oh my god. See, I want to use the footsteps to my advantage, but these- it's the little mushroom people who are stepping around and shit. That's the boss gate over there. What does this say? Try jumping. Yes, yes, try jumping. Yeah. Over there is a boss, but I don't want to fight him yet. Um, for now, we're just looking for some armor, and then we're going to be out of here and on our way to Blight Town. Hopefully. I hear it. I heard something. Did you not hear it? The giant cat. <sighs> I feel like we need something bigger. Like, I can hear it too. Unless that's the flowers that are like... is going pretty crazy. There it is. There it is. Motherfucker. Come here. Oh, that didn't work. Ugh. Ugh. Die. Your HD fur will not distract me. God, this is this is the thing that scared me. Ugh. Oh god, I hear the other one. Oh god, there's more. Really? Oh my god. I'm gonna die. Oh, I died. Fuck. I didn't think there'd be- I thought there'd be one, or two, or three. That's okay, we can just run back. At least I know where they are, so I'm not really that scared of them anymore. They're- I could have sworn they were scarier. Uh... Let's just switch back to the fountain. Alright. Ring is pretty important, so yep. Let's go. Okay. I think right now the forest hunters are pretty chill, so they shouldn't attack me. Yeah, yeah. Alright then. Well, first, I think we should get our souls back, so I guess I'll go the way that's. Uh... Hey, we're cool. We cool? Yeah, we cool. We cool. Don't attack me. We cool. I won't attack you, you don't attack me. We are cool. Yep, still cool. Hey, it's a samurai dude that I was talking about. That's the armor that you can get somewhere around here, so... He's a cool guy. I've heard all about you. I'm Shiva of the East, captain of the brigade. Let's teach you the clan basics now. 
as there's no time to chat in the midst of fighting. Except there is little in the form of rules, you hear. Fight and hunt as you like. Whoever is fastest gets to pray. That's the way we do it. Only, don't forget what Arvina said. Traitors aren't given a second chance for any reason. That's about it then. Don't worry. It's a good old time, isn't it? Great to have you with us. Good hunting to you. Don't worry now. You'll be called in soon enough. Hunters with patience score the best kills. He also has a ninja bodyguard. You kill him, you can get a very nice ring that turns your rolling into like a cartwheel, which is... It doesn't sound that much really good, but it really makes your rolling that much powerful. Alright, let's go to the cats. Cats, cats, cats. Cats, cats, cats. How did the big giant mushrooms respawn? Shut up, laptop. I'm tired of you making that loud noise. Try to just... If you're just on a wiki page, you have no reason to... Like, volume up, volume up like that. Alright, those big mushrooms better, like, back off, too. Have nothing, no, nothing against them or anything. Apparently this is not the way. That's the way. Hey, what's up, souls? Ah, I did not mean to do that. That was lame. Oh my god. I understand. I understand. You're like, Nick, why would you do that again if, you, if it was going to go the same way as it did last time? Well, let me answer my own question. I honestly thought I could take both of them at once. Uh, honestly, I think I've been through worse, but uh, now that I know the answer to that, I guess a little strategery is involved, which is simple pulling skills, to be really honest. This is a longbow, by the way. I, I forgot where I found it, but I found it. I think I found it from the dead hunter dude that I got the uh, hunter armor from, or the ranger armor, I forgot what it's called. So yeah, that was fucking stupid of me. I'm... I apologize to all viewers that are watching, because I am a very stubborn person, and I do not learn from my mistakes that easily. What's up, Mushroom?